Welcome to North Lancashire Council's Art Development classes online. We have been uh, working on stop frame animation ideas and it's at a real basic level, okay? So it's meant to be fun and thinking about lots of different objects that you can use to turn into a little animation, a little moving uh, image film basically. And so today, remember we've already spoken about this, what you really need is to make sure that your camera, because that's all you need is a still camera, or you can use your camera phone, as long as it's nice and steady and static, because that's that's what helps, um, you know, bring all that magic together. Try not move your camera around. You can, though, we will look um, next week into going close-ups, etc., uh, on specific parts, okay? So keep it keep it steady. So today we have Mr. Duck. Quack, quack, right? So he's just a little toy. And we've got a little toy bath here. Now, the other thing I've got here is a water with some blue paint in it, okay? Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create an animation and I'm going to very slowly, I should have actually used a spoon actually, but very slowly drop more and more blue water into this bath. And we're going to have the little duck kind of dancing around and then going into the bath. Okay, how does that sound? Good. Right, so, just move that there. So we'll move our little duck to one side as well. Out the shot anyway of the the camera and so we've got our bath here so i'm going to take some photographs to start off our animation so i'm going to take quite a few of the same image okay so we've got our bathtub here so one one two three four five six that's perfect okay so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to bring in mr duck so let me just double check where he's coming in Coming in there. Right, okay, so let's slowly bring him in and take a picture. Remember, you need a lot of patience. Bring him in, take a picture. And we're just making really little, tiny, small movements. He's doing good here. I think he's excited to get a bath. There we are, moving a bit closer and I'm being very careful that I'm not moving the actual bathtub because I might ruin the shot. It's our little duck that's came to life, not the bath. That's why it's important. He's nice and steady and that's why you need to keep your camera, camera steady on a tripod. And if you're using your camera phone, you can maybe do like make a makeshift um, bracket you know, using like a broom handle, plenty of masking tape, and you know, just making sure that you're keeping your camera phone nice and steady and safe. You can maybe even pop some cushions down round about just to be extra safe. Oh, did a little dance there, that's fine. That's what I'll do. I'll maybe spin him around a little bit. Please like going round in a circle. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm still going to move my duck, but this time I'm going to add in a little bit of my blue water, just a tiny bit, okay? Oops, see. Thankfully I've got a wee cloth here, I can do a wee quick clean up. Okay, and let's move our duck. Right, and I'm going to add some more water in. Great, and move our duck a little bit. Keep doing that. Oops, it. Move our duck. Oh, he's definitely excited about getting a bath. Did I move my duck? Let's give him just a wee tiny move, just to make sure. Bit more water, move our duck, a bit more water, and then what we could do is could even like 
the baby cur dogs start to kind of look up the way. Come on, Mr. Duck. I told you you needed a lot of patience. This is where a wee bit of blue tack might come in handy. Or what I might do is I might just cheat. I'm just using a bit of this paper that I've been using to wipe up all the spillage. I'll just very discreetly roll it in a little ball. Oh, I think I moved my bath there a little bit. Remember, try and keep your hands out the shot as well. Right, let's see if that'll work. Yep, worked. A bit more. Let's, let's just jump the little duck up. And then let's plop him in. Ah, he's fell in first. Head first as well. Come on, Mr. Duck. Oh dear, you're not going to float for us. Ah! Oh! <laughs> That's not good. Let's quickly get him back up into just at the bath bit then. The bath side, I should say. Oh dear, never mind. I'm just going to move him around a little bit. Is there something I can do to just make him balance down the way? Oh dear, right, come on back out again. Make sure you make, let us all know that you're safe and well, Mr Duck. And then we'll jump him back down onto the table and we'll move him out. You could do something pretty cool with a, a glass of milk or a glass of juice or a cup of tea. And just like, you could actually do the reverse and start drinking it from a straw or something like that. Gradually and seeing all the liquid disappear. Now, what would be great if I could, I don't know how much this is going to work, but let's give it a wee try, right? I'm just going to eat. Empty the bath a little, put that down. We'll do the same again. Might not work this, but I can give it a wee try. Because I'm moving my bath, that's why. Remember Wilma said, don't move your object that you're trying to keep still. It'll all look good in the the edit when you watch it back, I promise you. There we go. And our bath is now empty. And take some more pictures, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. And when we play those series of still images together, right, they now run like a little animated film. Okay, we can put some music to it and some sound effects. So have a wee think about what would your little duck say? Well, it would be quacking, I would imagine. But it looks like it could have been quite a fun little animation. So you might want some nice, cheery, uh, upbeat music or something like that. So, yeah, let's give that a try and see how it looks. Hope you like it. And we'll see you next week for some more ideas. Okay? Bye!